Violence solves everything. <laughs> Start recording. All right. Okay. So let's, we can begin now. Um, so let's start by watching your OPGG. Do you play ranked often or mostly normal yeah. games? Don't you play often? Ranked like often. One right. warm up uh, game for normal. Okay, okay, okay. And, then... and you're silver one right now, and you've peaked yeah. uh, gold four. In gold uh, three, I guess, and then gold. gold. Okay, gold 3 peak, gold 4 season 10, and now you're silver 1, trying to get back to gold, and possibly climb even further, further right? Yeah, right. Alright. Actually, try maybe plot mm. Yeah, I believe you can get, like, a lot higher. Um, so, let's start by looking at your games here in OPGG. Now the first thing I want to ask you is, do you watch any Katarina streamers? Yeah, I watch a lot of... Like, <laughs> By the way, your <laughs> microphone is cutting off a little. Oh, do you have right. a way of fixing that? or? Yeah, maybe... Um, maybe maybe better now, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not okay. lagging anymore at least. Okay. Yeah, tell okay. me what, what streamers you watch. Mm, you, Cat Evolve, uh, Gamer Girls, uh, LOL Repi. Uh, uh, okay, so you watch Katrina. a lot. Yeah, a lot of Katrina. Alright, that's good, that's good. And have you seen any of them build Bork into Titanic Hydra? Mm, Bork Titanic. Um... I think Catlight did it, maybe. Yeah, I think he did it. Okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, so, a uh, fact you have to know about Catlife is his YouTube videos and uh, the builds he's doing are only for entertainment. They are not good. Mm, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, here I see, like, in every game, uh, you're getting Bork, and if you really like insist on going AD build, mm -hmm. you're gonna go Blade of Rune King, Divine Sunderer, uh, Defensive Boots, and Ravenous Hydra. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then fifth item and sixth item. I have no fucking idea. You can just go whatever mm, you want, it, I guess. Like demonic or um, uh, you maybe... can decide for yourself. Like, do you need more damage? Yeah, do you yeah. need uh, more tankiness? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, you're not gonna get damage items because these will be your three core damage items. Rest will be defensive, maybe Sterax, GA, or Zonia, or yeah, anything defensive at least. Um. Mm -hmm. And I see you're playing TP Ignite almost every game. Yeah. Why do you go TP Ignite? Because mm, uh, when generally when I played uh, Flash, it's because see, it's um, I mainly use Flash when I want to be aggressive. Like I don't really flash out with uh, when I play Breather or AG. Like mm -hmm. I don't really flash out. Mm, I pre I generally use uh, Flash for. Uh, or engage so like um, i think with um with ignite and uh, and teleport i think i can get um like i don't know maybe go on other lane room faster then uh tp back uh, if i want to to take uh, to defend the turret or maybe take uh, some some minions okay well um I highly recommend to take Flashing Knight if you're, I'd say like lower than Diamond 3, 
Okay. Lord and Diamond 3, I'd say always take Flashing Knight no matter what, never go TPing Knight. Um, mm -hmm. And the, my reasoning for that is that TP is very, very hard to use. It's really hard to use um, compared to Flash. And, okay. and because you're gonna have to change your whole playstyle to it, and you're gonna have another thing to think about while trying to climb. Um, and that's why it's just more simple to just go flash. And in this rank, I'm telling you, you will not re need TP. Like you, you don't need TP to roam. Um, if the enemy jungler ganks both lane and shit, like you won't need TP. You can just run there. You will have time. People in every elo, like like I'm saying, until D3 at least, they make so many mistakes for you to roam to. Um, which makes TP kind of useless, and then later, okay, it's not useless, that's wrong words, but it's unnecessary. Um, it's unnecessary information you need to process to your brain, so uh, just remove that and take okay. Flash from now on. Okay. Unless you have played with TP for like several seasons and you're really comfortable with it and you perfectly know how to use it but for this for the sake of this coaching session um i would really like to not discuss uh, tp but just katarina in general because tp mm -hmm. as a summoner spell it has a whole new world to it mm -hmm. it's like yeah it, it's i don't know if there are like youtube guides on how to use tp but um you understand what i mean it would take like a, a it's a whole discussion for itself. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I, I understand. Like this. Yeah. Um, so, my recommendation first take Flash. And you said you didn't like AP build. Uh, can mm. you say why again? Mm, because uh, in the other game, I felt so useless. Like, I, I don't. Uh, I can't carry. I. I feel like I can carry with these builds. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it makes completely like perfect sense. Um, but l tell me, what do you build when you build AP? Why do you feel like... Maybe LP... Mm -hmm. I tried mm, Nashal first, mm -hmm. uh, Lilge Bane first, but I don't... I don't know, I don't... Mm, I don't find the builds who fit my playstyle, I think. Okay, I see here this Night Harvester and Lich Bane. This used mm. to be really good, but now I don't think Night Harvester and uh, Lich Bane. These two are really good combination of items, but on Katarina, uh, let's see, did you rush Night Harvester or mm. Lich Bane into Night Harvester? Okay, I just think that the item power spikes are not the greatest. Um, if you want like the best first items and you want to be able to carry early game, the best first best best absolute first best item is obviously Blade of the Rune King. Mm. But the problem with yeah. the Blade of the Rune King is that it doesn't scale really well. Um, it's really strong early game, and if you can manage to snowball, then you will probably win the game. But the problem with the item is that you have to snowball or you lose the game because mm. Uh, you won't have enough damage if you don't snowball, like later on. So, yeah. the next best first item for damage would be Nash's Tooth. Uh, that item gives almost the same damage as this one. This one does have more damage. It also has uh, lifesteal. Um, so that's really great for this item. But Nash's Tooth will give you more damage in the long run. Okay. Uh, have you tried rushing Ash's Tooth? Yeah, I tried. Um, if you see uh, my OPGG, like, um, before playing uh, Breezer Katarina, I played a lot AP Katarina, but uh, I have a pretty um, pretty high lose rate with uh, with it, so I stopped uh, playing uh, AP to start okay. playing uh, Breezer. Okay. Um, well... Are you confident in being able to, like, I see here you have 
really good stats like it looks like you can pick up a lot of kills and it seems like you carried this game really hard this one you played mm. good this one also even though it was a loss and these ones like it looks good um and all of these are with ad katarina i suppose mm. so yeah. what it looks like to me is that you can snowball with ad katarina mm. and you're pretty good at snowballing with ad katarina i try it right <laughs> yeah. yeah um but games you do not manage to snowball for example this one you lose this one you didn't manage to snowball either you lost this one you didn't manage to snowball either you lost can you show your screen <laughs> i don't uh, i don't see it. i don't see it you don't see what your skin like my skin your, watching, uh, your screen screen oh ah holy <laughs> shit <laughs> my bad no problem thanks Bro, I forgot you can't see because like I'm recording and I can see my I can see that I'm sharing the screen, you know, but uh, not to you <laughs> XD Why didn't you say something from the start man? Hmm? Why didn't you say it from the start? Yeah, I didn't see it. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> Anyway so yeah i was talking about these games you lost um yeah. it doesn't look like you snowballed and that's what happens when you don't snowball you have no chance of coming back into the game like whatsoever um mm. but with ap build you do like it just all it takes is one good team fight where you get a couple of kills get some dark seal stacks um and you're good to go you you can carry like really hard mm. okay so I definitely do recommend AP build over AD, but you can you can pick uh, the build you like. Like you can take for some games if you have AP in your team and I don't know you, you feel like you can snowball versus the enemy team, then mm -hmm. I'd say okay go AD. Uh, if you're versus, what do you ban by the way? What champion do you ban? Um, cause I don't. Generally, Cassidy? but I yeah, but I also, I also ban uh, Cassiopeia sometimes because I really hate uh, <laughs> Cassiopeia. <laughs> like okay. when I can when I can chun poor, like I hate it. Yeah. Cassidy, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Cassidy matchup, you you win versus Cassidy if you go AD build, uh, leader yeah. king. Like he he has no chance. Um. So consider that. But other than that, I'd say just like just. I highly recommend just sticking with AP build. Going Nash's tooth first. Uh, okay. Do you like Conquer or Electrocute most? Mm, I think Electrocute. Electrocute. Or Quick, tra quick Trade, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I can see that you also have taken Electrocute with uh, AD build. Yeah. Which For is... the early game, I prefer, I think. Yeah, we, this is really bad combination because with AD you have to go conquer. Your electric will be completely useless with AD build. Um, okay. So if you want electrocute, you can uh, go. Uh, you can only go AP build in my opinion, and okay. then you can. You have two options. One where you go proto belt into Zonia slash um, Lich Pain Void Staff, but I like from hearing what your point of view is that you have a rough early game with the builds. Uh, mm. I then recommend going Nash's Tooth first item into Rift Maker. Okay. Yeah, into Zonia's. Okay. So, with that in mind, let's. See, I'm gonna go into League Client. This is EOS, right? Yes, sir. It's EOS. I'm gonna go into League Client. And we're gonna see if there are any games to spectate. I'm gonna share my screen with you as well. Alright, do you have any VOD in mind? Uh, 
to watch the second, this one. But it's normal game. I don't know if uh, it doesn't mind for you. But yeah, well, I, the, these ones like, can't pretty useless. Oh. You can't spectate so, normal I games. It, so, yeah. mm. But these were victories anyway. So we're looking yeah, at defeats. Yeah. Okay. Uh, defeats. I mean, this one just looks like. I don't know, Ezri mm. 08, Pantheon 310, <laughs> Z16 and 5. Unlucky game, I guess. Do you really? remember what happened this game? Uh, not really. Okay. No, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I feel like if the game is 33 minutes long, you should definitely have more than five kills. Yeah. Five kills? Mm -hmm. Like the this mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, what what ha do you yeah. remember this game? Mm, nope. <laughs> no, I don't know. Hmm. Mm. Let's see. That one, the enemy Kaisa hard carried. There's a Richter, that's good. Okay, we're not gonna watch this one, everyone is in things except for you. Yeah, I was total. This game was very hard. Okay, so we have this as an alternative. This is alternative number one. 594. Uh, 29 minute game. We <laughs> have alternative number, number two. 33 minute game. I think this one is better. What do you think? This one or the first one? Mm, the first one I remember uh, the, when I played against Z, like uh, I played pretty bad. Okay. But this one I don't remember. Maybe if you think that's better, go for it. I guess. I don't really know. Okay. Mm. The, but do you know what your mistakes was uh, versus Z, or do you wanna watch? For, uh, you, you would you rather? Uh, uh, holy shit! Would you rather watch versus Z? I think uh, maybe yeah against Zen maybe a cool curry I don't I don't know. Mm. Oh. It just looks like you're all in thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This game we already see. Like, yeah, we'll go with the second one. Can you see? Or do I have to share again? I can, I can see. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Can you see my mouse, yes or no? Yeah. Uh, oh, never mind. No, no, I can't, I can't. Okay. Like, no. So I'm gonna share my screen, and you're not gonna hear game sounds, but you're gonna see my mouse, and yeah. I think it's more important. Yeah. Now I will just have to do the same for um, capture cursor here. Okay, now I can see. Yeah. There we go. Now everyone can see my mouse. Okay. Go back. Did the Pantheon give you mid lane this game? Mm, I Looks think like yes, did. yes, yes, yes. Did you swap? Okay. Yeah. So, first things first. What runes do we go here? Runes? 
Yes, versus the enemy team, you can go electrocute. I would take electrocute versus this team. You can also go conquer. So you can say it's preference. Uh, you took electrocute here. So yeah. let's see. Electrocute, southern impact. I will collection Ravenous Hunter, good. Tenacity, and instead of taking Coop, uh, if you take Tenacity, you have to go Triumph. You always have to go Triumph, okay? okay. And then you will either swap uh, Coop for Tenacity or Tenacity for Coop. But you will always mm -hmm. have Triumph. Okay. Yes. And even if you go AP build, by the way, you can still start Longsword as a starting item. Um, you will see this item as just a starting item, but you will never upgrade it. Mm, okay, okay. So what's the difference with uh, the one blade as a starter? Like Doran's blade is also really good, but uh, the thing with Doran's blade is that you only have one potion, while with yeah. uh, a long sword you have three potions so it depends like do you want to trade more or do you want to um do you want to just go for an all-in mm -hmm. if you want to go for an all-in then you go doran's blade if you want to trade like slowly slowly and then all in maybe then long sword okay all right let's go so I know you're gonna go AD build here, but you know AD build here is actually not too bad because uh, it's gonna give you an easier time versus Echo and also Viego, mm -hmm. and you have uh, you have Fiddlesticks who's AP, and Kaisa does a little bit of AP too. Okay. So here it's actually not too bad going for AD build. But if you would know you're gonna go AD build from champ select, like you, you can tell this just from the champions, uh, then definitely take conquer. Okay, okay, okay. Because the whole point of AD build is to just sustain damage and like basically do the same thing as Riftmaker does, but more damage. Hmm, okay. So we're gonna start the lane, and into every, every, every single matchup, every matchup is played the same level 1. I always tell this. Uh, you just sit back, and you let them push, and you farm the wave with your Q. Yeah, I'm already doing this. But, like... yeah, versus Echo here, Echo is a little different. So versus every matchup... Um, you just want to sit here and just like relax and just wait for the f three minions to get low HP and you can queue them. Um, but versus Echo, if he starts pushing the wave, if he like uh, auto attacks it and queues it, you want to like when you start the lane, you want to be around here. Mm -hmm. And if you see he's walking up to start auto attacking and queue uh, and queuing, you just want to throw a queue at him. Because he can't punish you, he can't deny you from taking CS either, because he's using his Q on the wave. So all you're gonna do is throw a Q on him, okay? okay. okay. And then after you've queued him once, uh, he's probably like still gonna push, and then you focus your next Q on farming as much minions as possible. Um, and then the wave should be, you know, picture this in your head. He pushed this wave now, you have queued him once, and it now it's like 10 seconds later, um, he killed your wave, uh, his wave, this one and like uh, next one comes, you know, they're gonna be closer to your tower, right? Either they're at your tower, or they're like right here, right? Yeah. And it's gonna start bouncing back to him, unless he queues the wave again. If he does that, you will. Either way, you will get level two first. Is what I'm saying. If he shoves okay. this wave in fully, you're gonna get level two first. Because when the next wave comes, it's gonna start pushing back to him. Uh, 
And that's when you, you kill the minions first. So here your level 1 was not too bad. It's actually played pretty okay. But I do not know why you just tanked 100 damage from a minions. Mm. Um, I don't know. Look what you did here. Here, these minions, you can still you can keep running. You don't need to tank them. Because even if you keep running, this wave will be right here when they start attacking this wave right here. They won't even get into tower range in time. Even if you didn't tank them. And now you're at 565. And now you're 500. Basically for no reason. Uh, so now... Just wanna farm, you queued him. Your mistake there was after you queued him, you walked into him you walked close to him while he still had his Q. After you queued him. You didn't have your Q, he had his Q and you walked into him. Yeah. Okay, I understand. So now, basically, like, you, you've lost 200 HP. For no reason. Like, you didn't need to do this. Now we're level 3. If he steps on this dagger, we kill him. Okay. I think they, yeah, you played okay. really quickly. Like... Versus Echo... Every time he uses a spell, uh, every time he uses his Q, rather, is mm -hmm. the time where you can go in and trade, if you have all your abilities. Okay. Um, so, you want to be looking like a little bit aggressive, because you start a longsword, right? You're very yeah. strong early. If he uses his Q on the wave, go E behind him, E out to W, and if he trades back, you kill him. If he runs, okay. you get a free W. Uh, I mean, free trade. You missed this minion for no reason. I don't know why you didn't walk up mm. to auto attack it. He's not pressuring you in any way. He just used yeah, his yeah. Q on the wave, so he can't I'm punish maybe you. Maybe for the, the first first level, I uh, I played like really safe for nothing. Like I give up some CS and some. Uh, yeah, you lost uh, this one too. Like, he's not pressuring yeah. you. Uh, and you're missing CS. Practice your CSC. Yeah, see here? He used his Q, so you went in on him. But you know what you need to do if he has his E? Instead of E W, uh, you want to Q E. Q E auto. Because then your electrocute proc. You only want to do that with electrocute, by the way. If you have electrocute, you can proc your electrocute really easily. Uh, when he uses his Q, you go Q, E, auto, your electric Q procs, and then he's gonna run away, and you run away too. You won't pick up your dagger. Look, your E will be on CD and your Q, but you get a good trade. Okay. And now your wave has shoved in. Now I'm gonna ask you a question. Your wave has pushed into his tower. What is he gonna do now? Uh, Echo? Yes. He will he will try to get uh, all the CS. Okay. Right. And under this time, can you punish him for taking the CS? Mm, maybe I can Q him, but uh, okay, I probably but you're, can't you're, engage because there is a choice. Yeah, your Q does like 75 damage, maybe like 60 yeah. to him. Is that? Do you consider that to be punishing? No, not really. Okay. Like the only thing I can do, like I think, I can ward up on the jungle. Yeah. So mm -hmm. basically, my question is, can you do anything here in lane now that is useful no. for you? No. I don't. No. Okay. So what should we do? Um, we see our fiddlesticks is roaming in here. He's trying to look for the enemy raptors or like mm -hmm. anything. What do we do in this scenario? We know the scuttle is up. We're gonna walk with fiddle, protect him in case Rexa is here. If Rek'Sai shows here, and tries to fight Fiddle when Fiddle is gonna take the Scuttle, you kill him. Or, you, after you've uh, checked Scuttle with Fiddlesticks, and you see, okay, no Rek'Sai, Fiddlesticks is safe to take this alone, you can keep walking top lane, and you can dive him. This Viego, now, like, if you roamed here, first you check the Scuttle with Fiddle, 
and then you see okay no Rek'Sai you just continue your roam you look top lane this guy is half HP you have a Pantheon in your team he has a point and click stun uh, and he does a fuck ton of damage like early so all he needs to do is stun him when you're in uh, your E range all you need to do is E auto uh, EW auto Q your electrical will proc your ignite maybe one dagger and he's dead right mm, okay and yeah. that and at that point your uh, pantheon is snowballed you have helped your fiddlesticks take scott uh, under no pressure from rexai and what is echo gonna do he's gonna just push the wave you know mm, yeah see the opportunity that is here right now mm. this is the opportunity i, I was yeah. talking about like here and yeah here. Yeah. yeah and also Let's say we go with Fiddlesticks and um, check the Scuttle and we don't see Rek'Sai there. What, let, let's say we just walked to Scuttle with Fiddle mm -hmm. and Rek'Sai is not here, he's not contesting. Mm -hmm. What information does that give to us about where Rek'Sai is? So maybe he's doing the Scuttle bot side? Exactly. If he's not up top side and doing Scuttle top side, it means he's bot side. Mm. So at that point we can spam ping bot side scuttle and like careful bot lane careful for a dive like put a ward you know that yeah. way we could protect our bot lane as well um mm, okay. so see here we would have went with fiddlesticks right and rexai mm. actually showed up we would yeah. get his flash for free or if he even had flash as well that's just a free kill so now you see him and you go there but see, at this point, he should already be dead, because you should already be here, right? You wasted time mm -hmm. being here. Mm. Every time you shove the wave as Karina, you don't stick around in lane. You get the fuck out. You, like, you, you go to side, you do anything else. Anything is better than sitting here. Okay. <laughs> no flash. <laughs> yeah. Um, mistake here was... Let's see. So you see Rek'Sai, he's low HP. Okay, no mistake. Yeah, just flash diff. Yeah. <laughs> Ignite Viego. E. And now on Echo. Auto E Auto. Okay, because he's already in yeah. your range. You wanna auto E auto. You did good. Perfect combo. You can keep going. See, the thing with Echo is that he, when he uses uh, his E Q, he procs his passive on you and he's electrocute. Mm -hmm. Yes, he will do this much damage. But after that, what does he have? He has nothing. The, the man yeah. has used his Q. He has no passive uh, onto you anymore. No, no, like passive anymore. And he would have no E, right? So you want to keep yeah. going out to, like, with Kong, if you had Conquer, uh, you would probably kill him, like, with E, out to, out to, out to, you know? You out to while he's while walking, out to attack, uh, out to move. Yeah. What is it called? Attack move, attack move. <laughs> yeah. And you probably burn his flash as well. Okay. You see, he had nothing. Anyways, he has no potions left, you have three potions. Mm -hmm. Here? No, why are you running? You just need to like sit here and just wait out his W. Like you saw where his W was gonna go. And he just used his Q too, right? So now he has mm -hmm. no W, no Q. You just sit, like, sit here. You know he's gonna go for this cannon. He's a greedy motherfucker. He's silver. He's 100% gonna go for this cannon. Mm. Um, so you just sit here, and when he takes it, you can eat the minion after this W is gone, because by the time he takes the cannon, this W is gone, and your your Q probably will be up. You you, you can eat this minion W, up, auto, Q. and Q. One auto attack and Q kills him. Yeah. So you wait out the shield, see, see here, he took it, 
he has no shield. If you did that, E here and the auto and Q, he's dead. Yeah, maybe because I I saw too much uh, minion, like, I don't know. So now he recalled, what do we want to do? We want to shove this wave. Yeah, and then we go. Yes. I think. Yes, we want to shove, recall, and look for a TP play, both or top. Now we recall. Now this is unlucky. This, yeah. <laughs> this is a freeze to Echo because you didn't um, push the wave fast enough. Now why did you mm. not push the wave fast enough? Let me see. You know what your problem is here? Your Q, when your Q is about to come up uh, early game, you want to walk behind these three minions, so you mm -hmm. Q them, your Q goes on okay. to these three, your dagger will land on top of here, and then if you have E, you can E it, if you don't, you just, you just walk like on it, and then you need to just do one auto attack or two auto attack on both, mm -hmm. and that's the fastest way, if you did that, you would have done it. You see here, this dagger only hit these two and this, but these are still full HP. Yeah. Anyway, we, we just like ignore this. We, we have to recall and he's probably going to push this out anyways. Like, it's fine. Mm. We're going to look for TP bolts now. Okay, first of all, we want to buy items. What do we buy here? Um, we, we're building mm. Bork, so we just build yeah. what, whatever money you're having. Mm. Instead of going Vamp Scepter, go Pickaxe. Okay. You had how much gold? Mm, I think yes. I, I can buy probably... You had 1.1k gold. Pickaxe is 875. Um, so let's see, calculator... <laughs> Wait, how much did you have? One one six five. Okay. Well, my calculator is bugged. I can't. What? Look it. Oh fucking hell! That's unlucky. I have to go to task manager to close it real quick. Okay, uh, anyways, uh, around 300 gold left, right? You can buy pickaxe and boots. Okay. Instead of this. So now we bought items. Now we're gonna look... Um, right, I skipped too far ahead. So recall. We buy items. And we're now we're looking. Sidelines. Can we TP anywhere? Should, do we need to TP mid? No. Can we TP bolt? Not yet. Not yet. There's nothing to TP to n yet. We see Rexa goes in. Okay, nah. We don't need to TP. He, he will die anyway. Like, we will just waste our TP if we go TP here. Oh my god, Fiddle. What? Where is he? He's in the bush! <laughs> I think he's... <laughs> Wait, what? Oh wait, no. Never mind. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we didn't need to TP. Now Echo, where did he go? Okay, we don't know where he's going. Yeah, at this point, Echo is SS, we're just spam ping. Like you're doing. Yeah. You pinged, no. You pinged two times. You need to spam ping. Until you can't ping more. Okay. This is not enough. Okay, three <laughs> times, <laughs> and one there, and one there. Okay. That's fine. I don't think you can ping anymore. Um, that's good. What I do is... Yeah, I do that. I ping, like, multiple times, SS. And then I also ping, like, where I think he's gonna go. So that's good for me. 
That is really important. Because if Echo roams, let's say Echo pushes the wave and he goes SS and he roams, and you didn't ping it and he kills someone, if he gets one kill or anything, uh, and you didn't ping it, that's your fault, not your team's fault. Yeah, I know. Generally, yeah, I always ping the... Uh, yeah, that's really good. I know. Here, he, he, you just use his Q, right? Remember? Yeah. And he just uses E too, P. right? Mm. And he's standing on top of this dagger. Good, you take it. Perfect. I would have traded exactly the same way. Okay. I would have done one extra auto attack as well. Because he was running and I know I could get it off. And then I would E out. But it's one auto attack difference. So. Okay. Otherwise than that, like, yeah, perfect. So now at this point we're just chilling, like yeah, all we do is sit back and just chill. Okay. And if he uses an ability then we can go in on him, like that. Oops. Yeah. The problem here... Um, so you saw how he used his Q on the wave. Mm-hmm. Now what happens here is next Q he next Q he gets this whole wave will die. So you have two options uh, that you need to decide for right now. With this dagger, either you take it and you W and you clear this so that when he is cleared these minions, you have cleared these, and that way you ca you guys can roam at the same time. So he's not way ahead of you because if he pushes this now and you didn't take this. Um, your minions will be dead while his is up, and he's gonna have the free time to roam wherever he wants while you're stuck trying to kill these under tower, right? Yeah. Um, but we don't go for the dagger, so I mean, that's fine. And we're trying to instead punish him for trying to push the wave. But what you didn't realize here is that his Q kills all your wave. Yeah, your whole wave, so you have nothing to E back to, unless mm, it's his yeah. wave. But yeah, that's his Q on return. So you gotta keep that in mind. You know, it's like a boomerang, he throws it out, it's gonna come yeah. back. <laughs> Here, actually you have Vamp Scepter, I think you can stay, but if you didn't have Vamp Scepter, I would recall here, because Cannon Wave was coming up, you're not gonna miss anything if you base, and you're kind of half HP, you know, so you have to base. You're maxing E, don't max E, max Q, always. Okay. Even if I go AG? Yeah. Okay. See here when you're trading, you're taking the daggers, you're proccing electrocute, and y you pick up both your daggers of damage, but you didn't mm -hmm. auto attack a single time. Yeah, I Look always, closely. Uh... Your AD damage, right? W yeah. Where does your damage come from? It's from your auto attacks and daggers. Okay, you did your out your daggers, but you're missing the auto attack damage, which would be like 200 okay. damage extra to autos. So here you take it. You know when you E, an There's auto, auto. Yeah. instantly comes up, unless you cancel it. But you do cancel it. Yeah. You see? And then this dagger, you have an opportunity to auto attack him again, one more, like one time. And then E out before this Q comes and before his passive comes out. One auto and then insta E. Because you can cancel your auto attack animation with your E. If you time your E exactly at the moment your auto will come out, you will auto attack while you're flying away. Hmm. And the reason why I'm telling you to max Q. If you don't put a single point in Q after level 1, you, you will like have zero farm. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. And your W was pretty bad there, you could have just QE auto. 
I didn't need to use W because now it's on cooldown for the next wave. This we want to shove it and see here, Echo pushed this wave and then he went SS. He didn't ping a single time. Like okay, he could be bot right now killing your bot. He could be top lane killing your top. He didn't ping a single time. You have to ping every time he goes missing. Even if you think he's recalling, sometimes the motherfuckers cheese. They don't recall when they should and they go roam instead. Anyways, here we push the wave. Now we have two options. One, roam. Two, recall. How do we choose? First we look. I don't know. We choose by looking. First option is roaming. We always want to roam if we can. First option is roaming. Okay, we look top. Can mm. we roam top? Um, no, he's dead. He already killed him and there's nothing to do there. Next up, okay, we're looking bot. Can we roam bot? No, they're at the enemy tower. But we do have vision of Blitz, uh, Blitzcrank uh, engaging on Kai'Sa and Rek'Sai wanting to gank them. And we have a Fiddlesticks here. I would roam here. I would not recall here. I would roam here. Okay. Because this play didn't happen yet, but if you look at the situation, you can see it's gonna happen. It's about to happen. Soon. Like, right, right as he presses E, the Rek'Sai, which is his tunnel. But he doesn't press E. And Fiddlesticks comes here. This is the point where I would cancel my roam. Like, I would probably be here right now. Um, and when I see Rek'Sai is running up and he's not gonna engage, and the enemy both lane engaged on my mob lane, but Fiddlesticks is here. All Fiddlesticks has to do is hug this wall and press ult over the wall, and it's a double kill in like 5 to 10 seconds. We won't even get there before they're dead. That's when I would cancel my uh, roam and recall instead. I think I didn't form because uh, I have TP and I was like, uh, okay, if, uh, ah. if they need me, if my team need me, like, uh, I'm just TP, TP bot. Yeah, right. true. That, that, yeah, true. Uh, I did not think about you having TP. So yeah, in the end, thinking about it, because you have TP, uh, I think this is actually better, what you did. <laughs> I agreed for the, <laughs> the big minion. It was a bit, it was useless, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, since I'm recommending you to not take TP anymore, this is the, the like, don't forget what I just said, how to think yeah. about roaming. Um, so yeah, let's see what happened here. Okay, you w e the minion, but you have Q. Why didn't you just... Um, I don't know if I get the range. Looking at it now, how should you farm this cannon? Mm. Maybe... Let's say you have... Mm. Four, you should have uh, 4 points in Q, by the way, not E. Let's say you have 4 points in Q. How would you farm this cannon? Mm. Q on... Mm. Maybe E, e on the, the minion... On this one? The, yeah, this one. Yeah. Then W, then Q on the... The cannon? Yes. And E back? Yes. Exactly how you should do it. That's how I would do it. Okay. By doing this, e this cannon, when Echo has all his spells up, he hasn't used his Q on the wave yet, he didn't use his E. e ing this will take out. It, it will remove half your HP for this. Yeah. Let's see. He missed his Q, so you're fucking lucky he missed his Q. Yeah. But still, half your that half your HP. Imagine if you hit his first key, would probably lose this bar too. Yeah. Damn, my my damage, uh, <laughs> my damage like evaluations are on point. I said half HP. Oi oi oi, Rogers. Oi oi oi. Okay, Pantheon. 
Let's get it. Flash diff. Mm. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Don't get hit by Rex IQ. <laughs> you know, if you get hit by Rex IQ, you die, right? Yeah. Good, good. Like... Holy shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. That guy almost got you. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh what? What did you just I do? Wait, I don't know. Wait, wait okay. So we pushed the wave, yeah. right? And then yeah. we recall. We have to recall. Okay. We're buying. And mm. we look mid. It's a cannon wave. We're chilling. Yeah. What, what should we do yeah. here? Just walk. Like. J just, just walk. I don't yeah. know what. Yeah. I don't just know just walk. Mm -hmm. I don't know either, man. Like, now you don't have TP for a bot lane gank or, or top so or... Weird. Yeah. This is what happens when you take TP and you don't know how to use it. Yeah, uh, I don't do that kind of TP, like, it's so weird. Good dodge. <clears throat> At this point, we just wanna let him push. And we just wanna mm -hmm. farm it on their tower. Why? Okay. We can't fight him because we just saw Rek'Sai somewhere around here and Blitzcrank around here. Like, and we mm -hmm. have no flash. They can't three man us if we go on Echo right here. Yeah. And we, like, where is our team? Our jungler is on blue buff, our top lane is top lane. Like, and our bot lane is bot lane. Who can defend us? You're 1v3. Right okay. now. <clears throat> and you still went for the trade and you're still going. Like, people, you should be dead right now. If this was uh, my rank, then you should be dead. You would be dead. Mm, okay. <clears throat> but yeah, you're lucky. They all walked back. <laughs> so that, that's why you should have farmed it under tower. You didn't get punished, but the higher you go, you will get punished for that. <laughs> good, good. Ding. <laughs> Here you kill the enemy Echo, he's right, still dead, right? And mm. if Rek'Sai ganks you, you have your fiddlesticks right here behind you, so you're safe. Um, that's why you should go for the plate. I would have auto-attacked it on the first wave as well, like, you kinda missed a couple of auto-attacks. But, anyway, we push this wave. And now, do we have Bork? I don't know how much gold you need for it. If we have Bork, um, if we have Bork, we want to recall here. If not, then yeah, we help and yeah, because they didn't really need you, right? Yeah. And now you have Bork. I think you probably win every 1v1 versus Echo, but you have to weave in auto attacks on him. Or if you don't know, like, you, the enemy jungler is a Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai wants to spam gank and, like, snowball and shit. So, every time you don't see Rek'Sai, I wouldn't really fight the Echo in the middle of the lane. I would only fight Echo here, around here. And if he, he doesn't let you, I would just farm, you know? Just wave clear and mm. then roam. Ah, yikes, you would have TP for this, by the way, if you didn't TP here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this is a good roam. Uh, you cleared the wave, you saw Echo was roaming, you're, you're following the roam. That's good. I think you can kill Blitz. Ah! You can kill Blitz, bro. Uh, can I die, I guess, yeah. Okay. So, when we're ganking a lane, versus multiple people, uh, we want to approach it one way. How to get the first reset. We want to get resets, so you can kill the other people. And how do we get the first reset here? What do we do? On the, on the blitz? Maybe if I can one shot blitz? Okay, I but how do we get... Tell me exactly the combo. What do we do here? 
did I use no did I use my W maybe W Q E auto Maybe EW maybe damage. EW minions EW here that cuts off his path if he wants to walk up he will get hit by oh. your dagger auto queue okay. him and then turn on echo okay yes uh why are you working top here you have a Ah, okay, Pantheon died. You know what? Yeah. This is actually really good. Why? Because Pantheon is dead. <coughs> and Fiddlesticks is around mid. So while you go defend top lane and farm top wave, Fiddlesticks can defend mid lane and good. farm mid wave. Yeah. So this is really good. And was but here. not fighting him. We saw Rek'Sai, by the way. We saw him before. Yeah, I think I didn't saw him. Like, yeah. yeah. You should pay attention to where mm. the Rexa is. Like, we, we literally saw him there. Anyway, and then, and then Fiddle dies as well. <laughs> Bro, this is a fucking disaster. You lost both mid and top yeah. tower. What? <laughs> so, yeah, now, like, nothing really interesting is happening yet. Now it's gonna be third dragon fight. This is a really important fight. With Katarina, one of the most important fights are dragon fights. Okay. Your focus here, you like your goal should be to not die by Rek'Sai. And then you can engage when you like see one person is like half HP. Okay. Losing the fight, yeah. Oh what? Ah, oh, I hit you with the Q. Yeah. Holy shit, <laughs> so sad. Oh my god, Pantheon wasn't here? Bro, Pantheon was top. Wait, was Viego also top? Mm -hmm. I don't know, whatever. Should have been a 5v5. Mm. So yeah, now like, this is fine, staying mid here, we don't have anything to do it anyway. But why did you go Mercs here? They have no CC, mm. they have they have no tenacity CC, you know, they have uh, I Viego think E? Blitz ult, maybe? Nah, nah, Blitz ult lasts for half a second anyway, tenacity won't, yeah. like, you won't, you won't see know. the difference. Uh, only CC they have that Tenacity Boots help versus are Viego, I don't know, I think it's his E or W. Um, he has his stun, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Echo yeah. stun. And that's it. Does it help mm. versus Caitlyn Trap? I have no idea. I, I think it worked. I'm not, I'm not sure. Hmm? I think it worked, but I'm not sure. Yeah, Although, well... Yeah. And you just saw that you got one shot by Rek'Sai. And they have like three, like huge, AD damage. You should have went Tabis, hundred percent. Viego, okay. Rexai, Caitlyn. So yeah, going top here is also really good because you don't want to share XP mid and shit. Yeah. And you still don't need to go mid, so you push top, and they also have TP, so that's completely fine. Keep pushing since yeah, you can't fight. Yeah, I, but I know everyone was. Yeah. Mid. So yeah. the, the and you wouldn't win the fight down there, so that's why we decide to stay. If you can win the fight, then you look to uh, join the fight. Okay. But you can't, so you keep going top and farm more. Good being patient before the fight started that you didn't like go in first and into. You, you almost never want to go in first. 
Unless you have Zonia. Mm. Okay. And you don't buy Tiamat before you finish Divine Sunderer. Okay. One item at a time. Not two items at a time. I don't know what a boy I buy Tiamat. I always uh, buy my Sunderer first. That's weird. Here. Oh, I think I forgot to buy a sender. I know. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Here, uh, you will decide if you wanna recall or stay on simply asking, answering one question: Can you defend this if you recall? I guess not. No. No, we can't. Is this a free kill? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah it <laughs> so you don't recall here. We can't defend this anyway. Like, okay, we recall now. But if they like this recall only protects our base. But if they go for a, for an end, you still have TP anyway. You know? Okay, if okay, they go yeah. for this. And even if we wouldn't have TP, we still have time to recall before they can actually end. And if they go do go for the end, we would kill them and then take Varen and then we would win the game. Okay. Okay, okay. But yeah, going bot here was also good. Cause there was like nothing to do. They, so they took your inhib. And I mean if they, like we know they will go for Baron. Like we can't contest it. We have no vision. Versus Blitzcrank, we can't go in here. Mm. Um yeah. only way we contest Baron is if we get mid prior, we push mid. And then, uh, like, through mid, we walk as five people, like, right here. Five people, and frontline first, Pantheon, what that would be. Okay. That's the only way we can go to check Baron. But people aren't, like, this guy isn't one looking to contest it, and yeah. We just push bot them. So they get Baron, I don't know, like, people are inting. But you're farming good. Thanks. Not early game though. Yeah. <laughs> but you're still farming better than Echo. Taking jungle camp camps, perfect. Now we wanna go bot. Which you are. And see because you have been farming this good, uh, at like late game, mid mid late game, you're the same level. As Echo, Rek'Sai, and Viego, while they should be ahead, they have gotten Baron, they have gotten like fucking towers, they are fed. Yeah, but uh, they always uh, share XP. So. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. For you. Here you can kill him actually. Yeah. Oh no, never mind. He's a tank apparently. We want to give up Drake because we have no vision to contest it. Okay, so here we have to do this real quick, that's fine, we'll push it real quick, and here, you have to, like, you need to have good map awareness, you see Echo is here, you have to go instantly, like right now, okay, you do, perfect, 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 so you go, you go, you see, now by the time you're walking, you need to look, what are they using? Like, you have to look exactly what are you using. Like, keep in mind, what CC do you have to avoid? Um, just like, I guess, well, nothing. Nothing really. Only like Rek'Sai knockup, right? Yeah. Okay, they're fighting. You know... Uh, it's hard. Like, I don't know if I would have went in there or not. Like, Fiddlesticks is zoning and he's in ult. Like, if you get one reset here. Yeah. yeah, like, if you get. The thing is, if you get one reset here, you can probably pentakill this. If you play it perfectly, you dodge everything. 
<laughs> and you hit all your dagger. Yeah. Like, I mean, all you, like, okay, let's be realistic. All you have to do, EW, EWQ, take the dagger, QER, you know, QEWR, you know, and then probably like a pentakill, yeah. you know? Okay. It's yeah. a risk that you're gonna have to take. Or, or, we don't go in, we wait for them to go for the end, and we kill them here instead, which is safer. Mm. Yeah. So let's see what they do. Mm. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, you know what the thing is? The thing is, I told you we had two options. Either we go in right here, or we wait for them oh, to be they? here. Yeah. Neither did you go in here, and neither are you waiting here. You, instead, you're going <laughs> yeah. in here. Yeah. And let's see why you did it. Because Caitlyn is walking on this. The problem with Caitlyn walking on this is they have an enemy pantheon. <laughs> he will press W on you, and you'll be stunned into five people. Four. Wait, five. What? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You see? Pantheon stunned you. You do get her though. Yeah. Almost, almost. Does he die? I got him, yeah. Hmm. And now but let's see if they... Well. Uh, they can't end. Can they end? I mean, Caitlyn, nah. They, no, I can't. They, can't. Nah, they can't. They can't. They have no minions. Yeah. So in the end, not bad. Not bad. Pretty worth, I'd say. Mm-hmm. But I think there is a higher chance uh, that you kill them all if you would wait. Okay. Or go in instantly, because at this point they had already used, like, they have like no cooldowns because they used it on your fiddlesticks and your team. And if you would fight them here, you would have two towers on your side. Okay, they don't end. Good that you went side lane first, and then you see something is happening mid. You will go here. Uh, you have no, you guys have no minions. But what you should do here is walk to get the scuttle. Is the scuttle up? Yes. Yeah. You should get the scuttle. It gives you Baron vision. When is Baron gonna spawn? It's spawning in 45 seconds. Okay, so you can't get it yet, but you can set up vision for it. Your team can probably get mid prio. You push top wave. That's pretty good. And you also have TP in case something happens. You can go for this wave, you don't need to be scared because you have your team behind you, right? Yeah. And now we base. And now we just want to group mid. Which we are. Good. Well, Fiddle 6 is clearing both. I mean, that's fine. It's a huge wave. Someone has to clear it either way. So, yeah, now we group mid. Or, mm -hmm. yeah, we go top we go here. Good. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. You have to identify the situation here. We see on the map, whole enemy team is right here in the in the jungle. Okay. Your team here. They are not in position. The enemy team is coming. Your team, they are not coming. Okay. So right now mm. you're two v one. Either you kill him right here at the tower when you're all in, or if he doesn't die, if he's not dead yet, now you see he's not dead and the enemy team is here, you have to E out instantly, like fucking E out, man. Pantheon is probably gonna live, I mean, he has his shield, and if... Mm -hmm. Okay, actually he's dead for sure, but you can survive. Okay. I mean, you did E out, he died and... Viego died as well. But now you need to reset, bro. You, what are you gonna do? You have 700 HP, like late game? Yeah, I will reset. Yeah, you should have reset before. But what the fuck? So what is it now? 2v4? Two, two yeah, it's GG. Yeah. Unless you can pull out a pent out of your pocket. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Well. GG's.